All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel, man. Uh, today, we're going back out uh, the cut bait video. Actually, did pretty good. And this is the morning where we're finna get hit with a storm, but we both had time, so got my buddy, x Spy Spy LDL with me. And uh, we're coming out. First, we're gonna start by catching some uh, cut bait. Just a smaller brim. How I run mine is I use a size one or two Albanese hook. And uh, just a little piece of worm out the yard, uh, whatever kind of bug you can get on there. And, uh, we know it's brim beds right here and this after rains is always good to find you a drain if you want to find brim after uh any rain has came in or rain came down just find you a drain because a lot of times the, the water current coming in to wash bugs down and brim just always seem to be around them so we will go ahead and try to catch a few of them and i'm doing this weightless i like for it to hit the bottom so as soon as some pick it up you know you're lying to get the moving I just missed one right there. I think he got my worm. Yeah, he already snatched me off, y'all. Yeah, it, it, we need him. Put everything in the bucket. Get on them. If y'all haven't saw that video yet, I'm gonna uh, I'll drop the link on the first one, y'all. First one for me. Super small. What size hooks are those? Size one, Albany. Size. Yeah, he hit that one quick. Might need to, I'll say it'll probably be a little further out. Listen, it look pretty spicy. Right on top of they, top of they dome. Oh, you know what I wanted to do, bro? Come out here, catch some brown, and put that sweet beside it. Double up. <laughs> <laughs> double up, right. Double up first good, first man. brim, double up on my channel. It's, it's called Milton. That's a spun and male. Milton? Milton. That's why I said that on my on my Instagram, the bass. We're gonna call them Milton. That's what it's called when they uh when they doing it. That's actually how they uh that's how they fertilize the eggs. Milton, y'all. We learned something new today. Oh, yeah, right there, yeah, we right on top of this same little. Oh, my goodness. He's full of it, too. Look at this, y'all. I'm about to squeeze most of that out of him, but look, he, he loaded. You have about missing my one for it. We're going to have to dump the fish out just to get to the water. The worm don't know what's going on. Oh. You got you another one? Yeah. Squeeze him. I wonder if all them been males. Yeah. See that, y'all? All them males. A bunch of Milton <laughs> Jr., <laughs> Milton Jr., Milton Sr., Milton the <laughs> Third. Milton, everybody named Milton. That's crazy. Come in section, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think we just found uh, every Milton in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We didn't caught so many Miltons so fast. I got to dump them out just to get another worm. Look at that. We're just putting them in here, y'all. Don't even need them to be alive. Just a bunch of them in here. Probably got about 10 so far. How to catch a bluegill in 10 seconds after a storm. Ten seconds, bro. If it takes ten. Monster blue gear. Oh, he pulling drag. My boy fighting the big blue gear, y'all. Oh man. Alright, so I just wanted to give me a little joke in. We got enough. Let's do it. Alright, y'all, this is gonna be the second spot. So this is where I come to throw my uh 
a little bait trap. I threw it out last night, kind of stuffed some bread in it. So normally catch some all the bait here. And I'm glad it's still here. Let's see what we got. Walked in the spider web. Yeah, got oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's real good. Told y'all I threw it last night. Dang, yeah. Hey, let's, yeah, put some water in there. And we still got all the other ones from the other side, y'all. Yeah. All right, Milton's. All the Milton's. The bigger ones. It is. Trying to get up out of there. Yeah, Not a lot of bait, y'all. Might hit a dam. We really can hit the locking dam today, too. I mean, besides the storm. As long as it don't storm too bad, we can hit the locking dam. And we got a lot of bait. Just depending on how it go. This cut bait spot, I mean, we're going to, it's for cut bait. I don't think it's too much stuff there to knock off a lot of live bait, but we got it if we need it, y'all. And I'm willing to buy something, to, a bubble maker to keep this alive, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. for the next day or two. Need to keep this alive as long as I can. Oh, this is just off bread, y'all. There's some old bread that was sitting in the house there. Yeah. 